today is uh, a week possibly before the week I move not sure still waiting on the dates I've just been on the phone to the solicitor and they've had confirmation from me obviously that I want to move on the date that I want to move on they've had acceptance and agreement from the people that are buying this place so they're just chasing the house that I'm going to move into and see if it's okay with them I really hope so because just want to get it sorted as you can see I'm really late starting with the packing today I just need to get focused now oh I just don't know where to start I did watch a vlog that said stick to one room don't start the next room till you've done that room so I made a start on the kitchen yesterday I got as far as the under sink cupboard and that was about it it seemed to take me all day I have got to up my speed and now I'm suddenly questioning the wisdom of using Ikea bags as well because they're open topped and I'm wondering if the van's going to do a big jerk and they'll all fall over and all the contents will spill everywhere so I don't know what to do about that I'm wondering if it would help if I just like insert a towel over the top and wedge it down the sides if that would just help a little bit I don't know anything breakable pretty much is going to go in boxes though hello Aira <laughs> We've started labelling. I'm also questioning the wisdom of my labelling system because I'm wondering if they're going to rip off. But Isabel's going to be pink. This is my rather haphazard colour coding system. Oh, there's mess everywhere. Help! Come on, Ims. Get a grip. Get a grip. You can do it. You can do it. Just push through. It's 20 past two in the afternoon and it's time for your 20 past two in the afternoon update. Cutlery drawers looking like this. <laughs> I'm trying to separate out what cutlery I think we will need until we go and put that to one side for now and then relocate that in the drawer and pack everything else. So this box has got lots of plates in it and various receptacles. There's the knives, I've just um, elastic banded a flannel round them but I've put some extra padding at the end where the points are. I'm going to keep those cups till last thing because you never know if a mob might arrive all wanting a cup of tea. This cupboard here I have emptied and cleaned and I've just put back what I think we might use in the next week or two between now and moving. This I did yesterday, this is the under the sink cupboard. I've basically packed what I don't think I'm going to use, I've left out what I think I might use for cleaning but there's room in that bag to just put them in last thing and transport them and I gave it a good clean as well for the new people. This is the last drawer here that I'm sorting out, so I don't know why I had an impulse to pick up the camera now, right in the middle of it, but anyway, um, I need to clean these drawers. I've emptied them down to just the bare essentials, as you can see. I've left a few sandwich bags, because I thought they might be useful for putting odds and ends in, particularly fixings from units, you know, and then labelling them and attaching them to them. That's all empty, just need to clean it out. This one has got some tea towels and cloths and things so they might be useful given that we've got to have a good clean I'll leave them there for now but I might get them out and give the drawer a clean first this is just horrendous and I haven't started that yet a few of Izzy's boxes are starting to come down the stairs now I've given her the responsibility of doing that she's got a lot of room left in there she said she didn't want to overfill it because it was too heavy but when you pick it up it's really light and this is a filled kitchen box that I did already that's going to be the next one, I think that's empty. The charity bags are getting fuller and fuller. I didn't think I had anything left in this house that I could possibly not want, but I'm still finding more stuff right at the back of the kitchen cupboards. Every so often I start to feel really overwhelmed. And then I tell myself to just focus on that one little section that I'm doing at that time and remember that once that's done, I never have to do it again, it's off the list. And try not to think about everything at once because then it is overwhelming. Here's the nearly three o'clock update. See all that there? Stuck under there, look, I had a mountain of it. I have found that this is the best receptacle for removing it. Receptacle? That's not the right word, is it? Device? Tool? Yeah. I'm not enjoying the cans of worms nature of this packing lark. Just as soon as you think. Oh, good, I've cleared that area. You go, oh, except there's something else happened. I've now discovered and it's going to take me another 10 to 20 minutes to sort it. Oh, come on. It's 
the evening now, it's about six o'clock. I had to tear myself away from the packing and go and practice my flute, so I did that for about an hour and a half. I've got three gigs coming up this weekend, just to completely disrupt all the packing and everything. <laughs> but I am looking forward to them, they should be fun. One of them I kind of need to practice for, so I was working with that. But now, I'm gonna get my washing in. You know how my strimmer broke? I was telling you, didn't I? Well, IB, my invisible boyfriend, who is real but doesn't like to be on camera, just in case you haven't seen this channel before, he said he's going to come along with a petrol strimmer and do it, but hang on, I'm just holding off with showing you how long it is. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Look at that. It's, yeah, it's quite long. And there's a random cat. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Well, clothes are dry anyway. There's another kitty over there. Can you see? Wow, hello. Oh, the strawberries are ripe. It smells all right. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's good. I thought it's really good. This is laundry basket cam. Let's go back in the house and come out with a little bowl or something for those strawberries. You won't be seeing much more footage of these steps now, will you? Back out we go for those strawberries. I think we must have been gone a couple of weeks, do you know? When I came back the lawn had gone crazy and so had the strawberries. They're very little but they're full of flavour. There we are. There's my crop. Quite a variety of species of grass in this lawn, haven't we? I didn't technically plant it. I let it self-seed. Well, a lot of it was already here. <clears throat> but I dug up some beds to grow veggies and then when I was done with them I just let them self-seed back over with grass and this is what happened. Next door's is empty at the moment and theirs is even longer than mine. <laughs> the lady who lived there moved out just a couple of weeks ago as well, I think. At least my garden's not the longest lawn in the whole street anyway. I'm gonna quickly go and put this washing away and then I'm gonna get back to work on that drawer. Well, these two drawers actually, they're the last, other than the food cupboard, these are the last two drawers and they're chaos, look. Izzy's been busy today too. She's just doing some labels for her boxes that she's packed from her room. She had these boxes in her room anyway as part of her storage, so. She's just kind of repacked them more compactly. It's 20 past seven. I still haven't made that much progress, but look, I've achieved my goal, which is to empty those two and give them a bit of a clean. Ha ha ha, yeah. And right now I'm gonna get creative and I'm gonna rummage in the freezer and make me and Isabel's tea out of freezer food because I need to empty that freezer and get it switched off. We're gonna have some macaroni and so far, frozen soya beans and peas. And also I'm gonna use some tinned tomatoes and ooh, a Nazi chickpeas. This is looking like this so far. I've chucked a load of basil in there. There we are, that hasn't come out too bad, has it? We're gonna watch some old Doctor Who episodes now, aren't we, Izzy? What are we watching, my lovely? Continuing with the Doctor Who movie. Ooh! Because we got up quite far, and then we didn't finish it. No, we didn't. So we're going to veg out on that sofa and enjoy our dinner and watch old Doctor Who episodes as discussed. Do feel free to comment down any thoughts, hit the like button if you want to support the channel and subscribe for more of this crazy adventure of moving house and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!